Welcome back to EdTech School. Today's video gives you technical advice on transforming paper worksheets. Paper worksheets. It's a sensitive topic with many educators, educators, isn't it? Good or bad, the reality is that worksheets are the workhorse of many classrooms. With iPads and Chromebooks taking the educational world by storm, a common question is how to transform worksheets for tablets. Here is how you convert paper worksheets to PDF. Chances are that you create your worksheets using Word. If so, exporting them to PDF format is straightforward. On Windows 10 or Mac OS, you can simply use the Print to PDF options from the File Print menu. Many publishers provide PDF copies of their worksheets, but in case yours doesn't, you can also use the camera on your phone or tablet to convert them to PDF. I highly recommend using Microsoft's free Office Lens app, which is an outstanding document scanning app available for iOS, Android and Windows. Ok, great. Now you have a PDF copy of your worksheet. Next step is to send it to your students and enabling them to annotate it. There are several great tools available that combine distributing, annotating and collecting assignments into one slick workflow. These are our top picks. The first one is Office 365. If your school is already using Office 365, you should take a good look at OneNote Class Notebook. Among the many great features is the ability to write or draw on top of any document. It takes a bit of setup and getting used to the OneNote way of doing things, but it's a solid note taking and annotation app. Next up is Google G Suite. If your school uses Google G Suite for education, the free Google Classroom app is a natural choice for sending documents back and forth between students. It provides intuitive tools to write, mark, highlight and draw on top of a PDF. What if my school is using iPads? Well, Microsoft OneNote and Google Classroom are of course available for the iPad as well. But Apple also comes with its own offering that's well worth a look iTunes U. iTunes U lets teachers build, distribute, collect and grade PDF assignments, among other things. It also contains basic PDF annotation tools that students can use to draw on a PDF. One of the main advantages of iTunes U and many other Apple apps is simplicity. It may not be as full-featured as some of the other contenders, but it is for the most part, straightforward to use. Last, but certainly not least, is Shobi. Shobi is a versatile quality app that streamlines several classroom workflows, including handing out and collecting assignments. The free version contains basic PDF annotation tools, with more powerful tools available as part of the paid version. It integrates with hundreds of other apps, so don't dismiss it too quickly for one of the free alternatives. Shobi is available for iOS, Android, Chromebook and Windows PC. There is a problem with all these systems though. They make it too easy to assign static worksheets that don't challenge, engage and empower students in their learning. A PDF worksheet is still just a worksheet. It doesn't take advantage of the huge potential of the powerful tablets that students hold in their hands. Interactive worksheets, such as those created with book widgets, can include instructional videos and can have many different question types that make good use of touch screens. These can be automatically graded, providing students with instant feedback. This reduces the workload on teachers and speeds up the learning cycle for students. Win-win. Being able to quickly tailor a worksheet to a student's needs is a big help for differentiated learning. Even better is having worksheets that automatically adapt to students' needs. Interactive worksheets can provide this. Another big advantage is that these worksheets can use the accessibility features built into iPads such as VoiceOver. A tremendous help for vision impaired or dyslectic students. That was it for this week. Thanks for watching and see you next week.